Both of you, in! So, everything according to plan, huh? It's like without a few curveballs, you know? Okay, we're here. What now? Is this over? As soon as the VIP's Hilo arrives, she's still in our charge until then. Um, is that how it's being delivered? I don't think so. Oh, I knew Genki couldn't be too far behind. He just blew up Tammy. What is Zinyek's fascination with Genki? And why don't the two of them just make a baby already? Do not put that image in my head. Holy shit! Did he just turn into some kind of super Genki? It appears so. Damn it! There's no way we can take him. I could if I had my superpowers. Oh, huh. Right, well... Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hey, glad you can make it back. Give me my superpowers! Ooh, I don't think so. I'm not falling for your tricks. Matt, give the powers back. Oh, I see. Okay. What on earth happened while we were disconnected? Explain later. Powers now. All right, let's go. Oh, my. This is... Wow! Not bad, huh? Let's kick some Genki ass. Die, mascots! Die! Get those furry sons of bitches! Man, I'm glad that's over. Not bad. You can really handle yourself. When it comes to the world's favorite homicidal professor, I have way too much experience. Kind of mess. I devised a training simulation wherein a highly trained vigilante has requested our assistance in clearing the city of a long standing menace. Well, that's vague. I promise you that it's the finest simulation I have ever crafted.
greatest vigilante needs our help in drawing out his arch nemesis. To do so, we must confront the foul captain's army of minions, draw out his lieutenants, until the terrible menace reveals himself. Then, we must take him on in an earth-shattering final conflict. <laughs> ah, the three count. Seems every time I'm here, I never have time to just sit back and enjoy the games. And I get the herp. Loosest slots in Steelport. Superpowers like yours don't exist in this universe, so you won't be able to use them. <sighs> this simulation better be awesome, man. Okay, here comes trouble. This is the army of minions. Zombies. I mean, who has an army of zombies? You... Uh, have to be prepared for anything. I don't think zombies are a pressing matter, Matt. Whose army did you say this was? His true nature is known only to a secret cabal of followers. Uh, well, uh... Matt, is this Nightblade fanfiction? Uh, please, not one of those forum-stalking hacks who spit out poorly constructed, badly edited wish fulfillment brimming with cannon-breaking Mary Sues and... So you've read it. Of course I've read it! How long have you been working on this simulation? Oh, I wrote the original short story between seasons two and three, when it seemed Nightblade may be retired. So we set about finding the one person who can take his place. Oh, Matt, sweet, sweet. Nightblade has a rich cosmology merely hinted at in the television series. As with many classic genre shows, the universe belongs as much to the fans as the creators. I'm not judging. You're not? No, I am. But I really don't want to have this conversation with you. It's up to the fans to keep Nightblade alive. Especially now that the Earth is gone, and there will never be any more official stories. My condolences on the Good work, you two. Especially you, Matt. Thank you, Nightblade. The bad news is the Cardinal is not in the So where is he? Meet me outside the casino. I'm on my way. Oh my god, Nightblade is on his way! Hello, Matt. It's good to see you again. And you must be the protege I've heard so much about. Yes, I must be. The Cardinal is on the move. But I have good intelligence regarding his final destination. I'll lead you to him. Stay close. But not too much. We don't want to give my nemesis too easy a target. What do you think? You have to be having some fun. I do. At least a little bit. Killing zombies is never not fun, man. That's why they're called zombies. Well, I knew you were having a good time. Was this simulation really made for Asha? Originally, yes. But why did she reject it? Asha doesn't appreciate the rich fiction of the Nightblade universe. She called it paranormal bromance. Mmm. I'm sorry, Matt. En route to the main villain. Nicely played, Matt. Good escalation of conflict. Uh, thank you. So I'm not really up to date on Nightblade fiction. Who are the Cyprian Order again? The Cyprian Order are a sect of brave soldiers waging a clandestine war against the creatures of the night. Franklin Knight was a member of the Order until he succumbed to the Dark Embrace and was turned into one such creature, a vampire. And now the Cyprian Order hunt Nightblade too. That's right. But Nightblade still fights vampires, along with fighting the Cyprian Order. Correct! That sounds compelling. It's a dramatic work that's exemplar of the form. When have you had time to build this? It's based on a training simulation that Asha rejected. How many simulations is Asha having you build? I don't know, a dozen? A dozen? She likes to keep her skills honed. So, Nightblade, huh? 
what else can you tell me? Does he have a, you know, love interest or anything? Oh, oh, oh my god, yes! Franklin Knight had a wife, Sylvia, who was killed by a vampire. It was this tragic moment that started him on his path as a hunter. A lone man wandering the earth looking for justice, never to love again. Until he met Marion, who desperately wanted to be Nightblade's bride. But he was forced to walk away, stating, After losing Sylvia, I can never love again. Ooh, that's a good line. One of the finest ever written. Why are we here? Excuse me, Nightblade! I thought we had to lure the Cardinal out first. I enjoyed your story well enough. Zinyak, shit. But I thought your ending could use a little work. What are you doing to my story? Matt, get back. I will not. I won't have some effete alien dictator stomping all over my expanded universe fiction. Matt, get back. Matt Miller, I thought you were my ally. But I am! Now, I find you're actually a pawn of the Cardinal! No, Nightblade, I would never... Miller! Ooh, this is already so better. You are far too weak, mere human. This is terrible! I need you to focus. We could have been such close friends, Matt, but you stabbed me through the heart. Uh, metaphorically. We are going to get Zinyak for this. Sure, for this. You know, because up until now, Zinyak's crimes haven't been that bad. You're not taking this seriously! I'm trying to save our lives, Matt. I can't take this anymore! I don't want to fight you, Nightblade. Forgive me, Franklin Knight! Done. Nightblade has fallen. Sorry things ended this way. <laughs> Typical writer can't stand honest critique. While my version of this story had Nightblade triumphant over the friend who betrayed him, a far more compelling take on the narrative, I believe. I suppose you'll have this your way, then. Let's get out of here. I can't stand the way this has turned out. We're not done. We're not. Not until you get your powers. Powers? Powers? How would I... The fight against the creatures of the night and the fellows that turned on him must continue, Matt. Don't let the regular night die in vain. So, you do understand. Matt, if it makes any difference? Yes. As the sole living world leader from planet Earth, this is probably within my power, so... I hereby assign you all rights, titles, licenses, and possible merchandise to the Nightblade property. What? On one condition. Of course. Never stop.